I'm not going to tell you that you can get rich from Grand Company Seals. But once you know what to buy with Grand Company Seals, you'll be rolling need and greed on all of the dungeon loot. If you want to skip the market board completely, you can buy any of these items worth 600 seals at the bottom of material and just sell them directly to an NPC. They're worth 360 gil per item. That's 35,000 gil for 60,000 seals. And you never have to touch the market board. Before you say you don't want to deal with looking through your armory with all of that dungeon gear, go to your character config, item settings, click off store all new items in armory. Change your inventory interface to expanded or open all while you're there. This way you can easily find it in your inventory and you know when it's time to take a trip to your grand company. Also, turn on hide all gear set items. This will make it so anything you have assigned to a job you won't accidentally hand over. If you're not able to access any of the items I list here, it's because your grand company rank is too low. Check the timestamp below and see how to rank up in your grand company. The very first thing I recommend to have is a huge stockpile of venture tokens. You should be sending out your retainers hourly while you're playing. It's definitely step one in making gil. If you have any crafters leveled up, you can repair your own gear to 199% condition. Yes, even a culinarian can repair heavy armor. You need one grade eight dark matter to repair anything that's level 90. These cost 280 gil per piece at a vendor, and some people are even willing to pay more at the market board. Say goodbye to all those repair costs. You can stock up on relic weapon materials for the future use, making the grind go a lot faster if you have these ahead of time. You can even teleport to directly to your grand company without having to use an aetherite. I keep a stock of grand company aetherite tickets on me at all times. If you're really desperate for making gill, you can sell one of these items and they're usually the best ones to put up. Make sure you're undercutting by just one gill. I see people say all the time that this is scummy, but this is preserving the price of the product. And if anything, it's courteous. Nine out of 10 times, your item isn't gonna sell any faster. Everyone will just buy the item at the top which is yours because it's one gill less than the other guy. There are loot boxes that you can buy for 20,000 seals. The 3.0 box contains mounts and minions from ARR and Heavensward. The 4.0 box contains mounts and minions from Stormblood, and this includes Eureka. If you still need to rank up to captain rank to get access to those loot boxes, examine yourself and it'll show the rank right below your current job. The personnel officer in your grand company will have the quest line for you to rank up, and you'll have to turn in a bunch of grand company seals. The best way to get grand company seals before the rank sergeant second class is to complete your hunting log. Go to your main menu, then logs, and hunting log. Click on your grand company sign, and then complete the log by killing the monsters that they want you to. If you need to go into an instance to kill something, and you're already a much higher level than that instance, you can go in unsynced and do it by yourself and get it done faster. Fully complete the rank one and rank two of this hunt log. By the time you're halfway through the third rank, you should have enough seals to get to that sergeant second class. At that point, you can turn in any piece of gear that's blue, green, or pink and you'll get seals for it. To get through these ranks, you're gonna need another 24,000 seals, which will be easy now that you can turn stuff into your grand company. Loot all the dungeon drops, or even head to the market board and buy up the cheapest green and blue gear you can find and turn it in. By raking up, you're going to unlock a quest called Shadows Uncast. This will be a blue quest available to you from someone in your grand company. Once you rank up, there will be another blue quest to unlock another dungeon called Gilling the Bilious. Once you do that, you'll unlock Adventure Squadrons. To get that next rank up, you're gonna need to complete the level 40 flagged mission, Crystal Recovery. It'll be right here. You'll get access to this just by leveling up your squadron and clearing missions. Once you are First Lieutenant, you'll now need to run five different dungeons with your squadron. Not the same one five times, but five different dungeons. Once you do that, your squadron sergeant will have a new quest for you. It'll be to complete the level 50 flag mission, Sapper Strike. You have to send your squadron out on that mission and complete it to rank up to captain. This can be a tough mission to complete, but if you look here, these are your stats for your group that are going on the mission. You can adjust these stats by adding in different members, take one out and put another one in, and you can make the mission easier. You'll now be captain rank and you have access to those loot boxes. Boxes. 